Well friends, just a quick interjection here because I've been switching my main camera and I've been messing around with that and in all the shuffle I lost my looking at the camera footage. So uh, this is all you get to see of this beautiful face for this video. So sorry about that. Hope you still enjoy the video and certainly I will get back to my regular format soon. Thanks. Hey headphone people, welcome back to the channel. Mr. Eric here. Um, got a good comparison for you today of a couple of siblings. So we're taking a look at the Focal Celeste or Celesti and the Focal Stelia, its uh, bigger brother. So uh, we want to know how, well, first of all, just how do these two headphones compare? What's their quality like? What, you know, stands out in their sound quality? And then we'll dig into kind of like their personalities, right? Like how they compare to one another and also maybe to the Allegia as well. Now, just as a note here, um, I own the Stellias. The Celesti was sent by a friend of the channel and the Allegias I no longer have. I did sell those, but I have a review that I'll put down below for those. And I spent enough time with them that I feel pretty confident that I can still comment on them in how they would uh, compare to these guys. So let's, uh, let's dive in. Now I'm gonna show you a full unboxing of the Stellia first, just because it is a higher end Focal and it does, it does have a little bit more going on with the unboxing. It's a little bit more special. So I'll go ahead and show you that and then we'll get right into kind of the comparisons here. Today is a uh, special day, special headphone got here today. I actually traded my HE1000 for this headphone, not really because I particularly wanted it, but just because I thought it was a good trade and you know, I'm always curious to try new things out, especially um, something that's about a $2,000 clothes back, which would be right up there with the most expensive clothes back I've ever used, which is the Maze Lyric. But today's headphone is the Focal Stelia. And so I thought I'd do a quick unboxing here first, um, just because I just got it and I want to open it up. Um, but also because it, the packaging seems a little bit nicer than typical Focal stuff. So I thought uh, we'd see how different it is, if it is that different. I mean, certainly the actual box here is like a faux leather uh, instead of just a typical cardboard like they usually are. But Focal stuff is usually pretty well boxed. So let's let's see what we got in here. Okay. So it looks pretty typical as far as a Focal opening goes. You know, you got the nice case here and then you've got the little folio that comes out of it that keeps, you know, the cables and stuff in here. Although it looks like this cable wasn't super well put in. Unfortunately, that would have made it a nicer unboxing experience. Here's something that's a little bit different. We've got like a little booklet here that has, it's like almost like a leather wallet that has the information in there. Um, so it's a little bit different. So, I mean, nice presentation overall. Nothing too out of the ordinary here. I'm just gonna leave that cable uh, in there, I think. Let's go ahead and unzip this case and see what these headphones look like. So the hard case is you know, typical Focal. Um, it's got a little bit different colorway than the other headphones I've seen. Oh, there's the other uh, cable. Looks like I got an XLR cable with this. And there is the Stelia. So let's, uh, let's get the case out of the way and we'll take a closer look at these uh, bad boys. So, I mean, you know, standard Focal, as far as how they look and feel, I would say, again, kind of standard Focal is they look a lot nicer in person than I think they do in photos or probably even in uh, the video here. So, you know, the detail on these guys is just really neat. It's got a similar, you know, this is a similar style to like the Allegia or Celesti or anything like that, except this is like leather actually under all of these. Definitely real leather on all of this stuff here. Pads. They've got uh, kind of special pads on these headphones where they are kind of a hybrid. If you can see in there, it, it's leather, but then there's a little bit of fabric for like half of the inside there, which uh, apparently does do something to the sound. I know Dakoni was selling kind of Stelia pads for a while 
and they're really hard to get their hands on, get your hands on them uh, because they're pretty high in demand. A lot of people like to swap those pads on the uh, Legia, so they probably are good, I'm guessing. Other Focal stuff, I mean, it's typical Focal build, which means it's nice, but it's not like crazy. You can kind of hear it, you know, creaking around and stuff like that. But as far as the colors and everything go, I mean, it definitely looks like a premium headphone. Comfort, I'm sure is gonna be the same as, as all Focals, which for me is really good. I, I just, I think they've got about the perfect clamp personally. And, you know, the pads are comfy and the cups are spring loaded here. So they, you know, get, into a good spot on your head. They just, Focals have always just fit me really, really well. So first impressions of the build is uh, pretty positive. Definitely the materials are nice and the color is cool, but the real question is how do they sound? So that's what I'm gonna find out here. Uh, I will come back in a couple of weeks after I've had a chance to listen to these guys a little bit. Okay, so you saw the case um, and the cables and stuff of the Stelia, but just to just so you can see side by side what they come with, very similar, right? But they each kind of have their own unique colorway here. You know, obviously the Stelia's got this kind of burnt bronze color. Here's the cable for the Stelia, which is kind of like old school Focal cable. It's the braided, it's almost like kind of rectangular almost, very kinky cable, very short, only about four feet long. And then the Celeste, it has a more of a rubbery feeling cable, still only about four feet long. You can see though that the connectors and stuff are uh, very, very, similar or exactly the same but their colorways both kind of match their respective headphones which is cool but i mean the focal cables one these cables are so short i didn't really use them and two just they're so kinky they just they don't i don't know they're kind of a pain to use honestly i just used a uh, heart audio system for both of these okay so uh real quick build wise there's not a lot of differences to cover with these build wise. The materials, what I would say is the materials on the Stelia are just a little bit nicer. I mean, but you can see they are uh, very, very, very similar, but I do think it, it's my perception and I could be wrong about this. I do think that the headband on in the, the leather that's behind the grills here on the Stelia, I think that's real leather. Whereas on the Celeste, I think it is actually um, pleather. And, you know, the headband on this, again, it feels a little bit different. I'd say that's pleather and it's got fabric on the bottom side, whereas the Stelia, I think is real leather all the way around. And um, pads, I think they're both real leather on the pads, but I could be wrong about that. What's interesting about the pads, and we'll have to talk more about this with sound, is they both have hybrid pads. So you can see on the Stelias in there, the cloth is close to the driver and then it's leather on the outer part here. But on the Celeste, it's actually the opposite. So the Celeste has, you know, the leather part or protein part is in by the driver and then the fabric part is on the outer part. And believe it or not, that does make a uh, significant difference. I did pad swap these a little bit and flip flopped them just to test it out. And uh, it did make a difference. So we'll talk about that more here in just a moment. Other than that, the build is Focal, right? They're exactly the same, I would say. Um, it's just, I do think the Stelia uses real leather. I don't think the Celeste does, but not 100% sure on that. That's just my perception of it. Okay, so talking about, talking about sound here, I think I can sum these all up if I'm thinking of like the Allegia and the Celeste and the Stelia as brothers, okay? That's how I'm thinking about them, right? So in that they all definitely share that same Focal DNA. They're all dynamic drivers. They're all relatively easy to drive. They all um, do bass pretty well. They all do mid-range pretty well. And, and then you kind of get more into like the differences between them. So like sonically, if you listen to all of them, I think you would you would hear that they're all Focal headphones, right? Very dynamic, very dynamic, not a huge sound stage on any of them, but good detail retrieval on all of them. What I would say is, let's talk about the Allegia and the Allegia is kind of like the brother 
that has some issues, right? Uh, this is the one that maybe has to be bailed out of jail every now and then, right? Needs some extra support, you know, and then it maybe needs some pad swaps and things like that to make it a little more even keeled, right? So maybe like some medication perhaps to mellow out its somewhat, you know, all over the place personality. And I, I, that was just the impression I got with it. In my video, you know, I called it Dr. Elegia, Mr. Hyde, uh, because I do think that headphone just, it can sound really good, but it can also sound really bad. And I just, it needs some pad swapping and stuff in order to get to be a little more balanced. Now, the Stelia is, this is kind of like the overachiever of the family, right? It's a little more uptight, but boy, does it work hard and it does everything really well and it tries really, really hard, right? This is the try hard of the bunch. Whereas the uh, Celesti here, I think is more of kind of like, it's the easygoing, uh, more relaxed brother of the bunch. And this is the brother that, you know, just does everything with kind of an easy confidence that maybe isn't warranted and probably harbors some resentment, you know, from the try hard here, as far as um, it maybe gets a little upset with this Lessie, just that it can do so much so well uh, without putting in near the effort that uh, that this guy does right here. So <laughs> let me break down what that analogy actually means when we're talking about the sound. And uh, let's talk about, I won't talk about the Allegia too much. Um, watch my review of that one if, you, if you'd like to know more about that one. But between these, the Stelia is definitely the better headphone. That I don't have any doubt in my mind about that. As far as just like technicalities, detail retrieval, linearity of the frequency response, imaging and separation, the Stelia is a fantastic headphone. Like it really does everything quite well. It maybe has the mids just a little bit more forward than on the Celesti, which I generally like and it maybe lacks some of the bass that the Celesti has. Now, the bass that the Stelia has is wonderful. Like, it's wonderful texture. It's very tight. Like, it's, it's just in general, it's a tight, fast headphone. Even in really busy passages and things like that, the Stelia just always maintains its composure and does everything really well and just resolves and is fast and still has, you know, a little punch to it, but, but it's all very well controlled, very well controlled, very well done, everything on uh, the Stelia. The Celesti, it's a little bit looser, right? It's, the bass is a little bit more bloomy, bloaty. I mean, it's not terrible. It's still quite enjoyable um, for sure, but it's definitely not as tight as the Stelia is. The Celesti also, I, I feel like, it doesn't separate as well as the Stelia does. It doesn't, it doesn't resolve quite as well. You're not getting all the details like, it, but I mean, we're talking the percentage here of difference is, is not a lot. Okay. It's pretty minimal difference, but the Stelia just, it does everything so darn well that when you go to the Celesti, you can kind of pick out some of those things that just don't resolve quite as well, or you don't get as much texture on as you do on the Stelia. Now, where this becomes interesting is in the price difference, right? Because the Stelia here, well, I traded my HE1000s for it. So let's call it $1,600 on the used market, $3,000 new, okay? Whereas the Celesti is about, you know, $1,000 new, but can regularly be had on the used market for $600, $650. And that's what makes the Stelia a tougher sell. Uh, because I do think the Celesti does everything. It's a really good headphone. Like, it's really good. And I could see people enjoying the Celesti more, especially if you want a little more bass presence and you don't mind sacrificing just a, a little bit of mid-forwardness and a little bit of bass texture, then I think the Celesti does 95% of what the Stelia does. But if you're looking for every last detail and you love texture and, and, you, and you like your headphones to maintain their composure throughout really busy tracks and things like that, well then the Stelia, it does 
it does it does uh, come through in in that regard. One th- one other thing of note that I'll add here. So what was I listening to when I was comparing these to make it fair? Well, first of all, I did KNRU6 to my Liquid Platinum, and I tried them both on that. I didn't think they were, I didn't think that was a great synergy, honestly, when I was doing it. And in general, I also tried it RU6 to my Quicksilver amp, and I heard a lot of hum on that because these are, again, very easy to drive. And then I tried the Felix Audio Echo, but I, I still didn't think it was quite a good pairing for all these. So I preferred these actually on solid state and I liked them the best when I was doing it. I really enjoyed them going through the RU6 and the Mjolnir Gen 1. And then the other comparison that I did, which was really nice because I could do them just side by side perfectly, was on the original Mojo and the Mojo 2 because you know those devices have 3.5 mil dual 3.5 millimeters so i was able to just quickly switch between both of them and that was using both of them with heart audio cables as well so it was all you know i mean it was a very even playing field when i was doing that so i would i would run these probably on solid state more than i would recommend them on you know tubes just at least that's what i found to be a better synergy myself uh the one thing that i did do and this was how i tested the mojo 2 which that review is out if you'd like to go uh check that out i thought that was a phenomenal pairing with both of these headphones and i did like it especially for the stelia because i was able to raise the bass just a couple of db and to me that rounded it out just a little bit better and i'm normally not an eq person and i don't think the stelia has to have eq but just for me and maybe it was just because i was comparing it with the celesti which in my perception had more of a bass presence which i enjoyed some of the time so maybe that's why i felt at that moment in time that i wanted to boost the bass of the stelia just a a little bit and the mojo 2 delivered on that on that and made it you know, filled it out the way I wanted it to be filled out. Conclusions with this. So let's let's talk about the pad swapping here uh, real fast. And we'll bring the Allegia into this too, right? So the Allegia I ended up using with solid Dakoni sheepskin pad. And that's what I thought sounded the best on that headphone. Although I still didn't think it was quite perfect, right? Like I didn't think it was quite right still. For the Stelia, I thought its stock pads were the best that I tried it on. Although when I put the Celesti pads on it, it did loosen it up a little bit and make it a little more easy going. So like, you know, the uptight brother here, you get a couple of drinks in it and and he loosens up a little bit. All right. So that was an okay, that was okay swap. And I could see going back and forth on that a little bit. I put the Stelia pads on the Celesti and it completely fell apart i thought uh sounded very hollow lost all that nice bass presence just not not good okay didn't didn't like that at all so there is what this means a couple of things right number one i think the celesti is probably tuned about as good as it can be tuned with the pads it has on it the stelia i think is probably tuned as good as it can be tuned with the pads it has on it but you can do some tuning if you want to try some pad swapping and stuff to me, this means that the Celestia, I mean, while you can pick up an Allegia for like $300, but to get it sounding the way you want, you're probably gonna wanna do some pad rolling, swapping, things like that. So one question you might be asking is, is a Celesti worth the money over an Allegia? And in that regard, I would say it probably is for me. I think that this is really well tuned as is Um, much better tune than the Allegia and I think more people would enjoy this headphone and there's a reason why you see so many Allegias on the used market for like $300 right it's because there's just something like I said it's all over the place it's just it's not a well-balanced headphone it it needs some help okay so if you want to save yourself the trouble and you want to focal close back the Celestia is an easy choice to me over the Allegia the Stelia is harder to to tell people to go buy but i can tell you if you're looking for an uncompromising closed back headphone boy the stelia's it it really does perform it really does perform and does a nice job am i going to keep it probably not i don't need closed back headphones really and in general i like open backs better um so for me for the money that i have invested in this i think i can i 
I just don't think I want that much invested in a closed back. And honestly, I have the T60 Argons, which you can check that review out too. And I really like those headphones. Now, how do they fit into all this? They're probably closer to the Celestia as far as detail, retrieval capabilities, although the Celestia I would say beats those out. But uh, tuning wise, they actually sound pretty similar, I would, I would say. And I'm using my T60 Argons with the new leather pads that were made specifically for that by Dakoni, okay? Which can be had at Mod House's uh, website. So I like those enough that I think they're gonna maintain my closed back spot, at least for the time being. But, you know, these, the Celesti and the Stelly are both excellent headphones. I would say the other headphone that I tried, but it's been a little while and I didn't have a ton of time with that was the Maze Lyrics, which I thought that was a phenomenal closed back performer as well. That and the Stelia would be a very close match as far as a super technical highlight performing headphone goes, closed back headphone goes. I think if you're a big bass person, the Maze is maybe what you want to look at. And if you're more of a mid-range person, the Stelia here is maybe what you would want to look at more um, when you're ch- if you're choosing between those two. But again, both those headphones are, are phenomenal closed back headphones. Okay, well, I think we did it here. Um, so as always, you know, thank you for your time and for watching the channel and supporting the channel. If you like this video, if you want more headphone reviews, if you like these comparisons like this, let me know down in the comments below, like, and subscribe. Feel free to put your own alternate opinions down there too. I always appreciate when everybody shares their opinions with headphones so people can make the most informed decision um, that they possibly can. There's also a Patreon link down below there if you want to support the channel even further. Don't hesitate to get in contact with me if you have something else you'd like to discuss. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.